Hello my dear friends welcome to aspire 32 and today i am here to discuss how we generally assess a radiograph before we do endodontic treatment and uh, this is a small effort if you like it you can always mention in the comment section and i will try to make more videos this also helps the undergraduate students in order to understand the uh, how we can read a periapical x-ray uh, maybe in general or when you are doing a uh, endodontic treatment so as you can see this is an image of a first molar and uh, obviously all of you can make out that is a radio opaque uh, restoration so generally when you have this much amount of radio opacity this generally indicates it is either an amalgam or a cast restoration a composite would be slightly less radio opaque than what you have seen here apart from that you can also appreciate that the pulp chamber is actually not clearly seen and this is very common when you have a long standing restoration which stimulates the pulp to deposit the secondary dentin reparative dentin because of the chronic irritation from the restoration and the pulp chamber goes on reducing so whenever you see absence of a pulp chamber you should anticipate that the access opening would be really difficult because uh, uh, you will have difficulty in finding the orifices but pulp chamber is very small and if you don't find the pulp chamber and if you keep on drilling in the center you will soon end up in the perforation so in such situation it is always better to take mid radiographs after you know if you are finding it difficult to find the uh, canals apart from that you can also appreciate that the mesial root you cannot see pulp canals you cannot see the root canals so what you should anticipate in such situations it is very simple if you have a very thin canal or if you are not seeing the uh, root canals in the root then you should be uh, ready to uh, enlarge the canals with smaller instruments and don't uh, hurry up to introduce the root uh, rotary endodontic instruments because when you have a very thin canal and you try to push your rotary instruments inside the root canal which are very narrow you are putting a lot of strain on these nita instruments so the best way to enlarge uh, such canals is to start with a 10 number and if you feel the 10 number is struggling then you can either uh, start with the 6 number or 8 number files in order to enlarge the canal sufficiently at least till 10 number or 15 number and then introduce your glide files so that the load on the nita instruments is reduced so that difficulty should be anticipated in this uh, case and apart from that you can see the distal root there is a definite curvature so generally when you have a curvature in an apical third you may assume that it is a distal curvature because in x rays we always see the meso distal curvature but we cannot anticipate the buccolingual uh, orientation of any canals okay so that is one thing which you should always remember whenever you have a radiograph you can only anticipate the meso distal curvature not the buccolingual curvature so whenever you have a curvatures there is definitely a lot of stress on the instrument and you should be ready to uh, take extra precautions in order to prevent the instrument fracture so apart from that in this case you can also see the adjacent molar has some radiolucency in this area that indicates that there may be some caries in adjacent teeth so you have to inform the patient that uh, because many times these diagnoses are very uh, you it is not necessary that the patient comes to you with that problem he might come with one decay but when you take a radiograph then you will come to know that there are decays in the adjacent teeth also and you have to educate the patient that you have to restore it uh, maybe now because if you leave it uh, you may end up you know uh, reaching a state where the adjacent tooth also may require a root canal therapy over a period of time so in this case how do you actually do a proper root canal i would uh, start with the uh, 10 number file enlarge it then maybe i will do the 
root canal treatment with a 4% files rather than enlarging to a, a very large 6 taper 6% or maybe greater than that so that's what I did and uh, the end result of uh, this case is uh, in front of you where the mesial and distal both are enlarged with the 4% uh, files and I did some thermoplasticized obturation and the case came out uh, very well you can see that the distal there is a good amount of curvature uh, this case was uh, quite difficult try to uh, develop skill with the hand instruments enlarge it with 10 number files make it free and then all the rotary instruments will follow very easily i hope this small case discussion helps you if you have any suggestions and advices please mention in the comment section and uh, do subscribe to the channel aspire32 bye for now